Sparks IQ is an industrial B2B platform company. We help manufacturers, distributors, and contractors to improve their sales, profitability, operations, and other important business levers. I founded Sparks IQ in 1993. Sparks IQ over the decades has helped hundreds of manufacturers, hundreds of distributors, and now hundreds of contractors to be able to solve important business challenges. One of our most important challenges today is helping all of these parties to connect with the customers that they seek to serve in the marketplace. So for manufacturers, a lot of times they're trying to improve their ability to sell through their distributors. They're trying to influence and shift wallet share with contractors. And with contractors, they're trying to get the next generation of talent into their business to get important work done. Sparks IQ provides platforms that enable companies to communicate, to be able to exchange data, to be able to exchange know-how. These are really the tools that help companies to serve their customers more effectively and to be more profitable. One of Sparks IQ's newest offerings is the TradeHounds platform. TradeHounds is the largest industrial B2B and construction app for frontline technicians doing this important work in our economy. TradeHounds has over 300,000 registered users across almost all of the important industrial B2B verticals, including electrical, HVAC, plumbing, industrial, automotive, and several other critical verticals. So today you can think of TradeHounds as being a mashup of TikTok, of Instagram, and YouTube. This app brings together a community of technicians who are excited about their work, typically posting photos, videos, and other content that celebrate trade work well done. So you can think of all of these technicians being able to share their work, being able to ask questions of each other, being able to share knowledge and know-how, and bring the power of that knowledge into the mobile devices of every technician out there on the app. We call this crowdsourcing of knowledge. And in fact, it's one of the most important trends out there in how the frontline tradespeople gather important information about how to do their jobs more effectively. Historically, a lot of companies have invested in what we call structured learning. These are the course programs, the licensing programs, continuing education programs that help people to attain certain levels of certification in their line of trade. And that's really important work, and it's essential to the, uh, the ongoing recruitment and onboarding of a new generation of workforce. However, there is an equally important aspect of knowledge transfer, which we call unstructured learning. You can think of it as just-in-time learning. These are the problems that people have out in the field that aren't part of a curriculum, but are critical in the moment to getting important work done. So how to troubleshoot, how to install a product, when and how to use a product, what are the applications. These are the types of micro problems that need to be solved in the moment. And fundamentally, TradeHounds is a repository of that type of knowledge. So you may have one technician who says, I need help doing blank. And then another technician will answer, this is how you do it. Or here's a short video of how I've done it before. And so over and over again, we see this opportunity for thousands of tradespeople to be able to share their knowledge with each other. That's a very powerful force. It's very powerful because it's scalable. In the old world of training, there was a real constraint. You typically had a small number of trainers trying to create content for a large number of pupils. And those students had very diverse needs. And it was very difficult for centralized trainers to anticipate and understand all of the, these diverse challenges that occurred out in the workforce. What crowdsourcing enables us to do is to amplify and scale the number of content producers to engage the entire crowd. So if you think about the accumulated experience of 300,000 or 500,000 or a million field technicians, it's much greater than any one instructor could provide in a more structured learning approach. So today we think crowdsourcing of knowledge, typically short form video, uh, question and answer boards, these types of, of communication platforms, is really one of the most important ways to establish knowledge transfer in this industry. 
Knowledge transfer is extremely important because there's a whole generation of tradespeople who are approaching retirement. They're typically in their 50s, 60s, and unfortunately with time, people's bodies start to wear out. It's hard work, and fundamentally, these, are, these retirements are practically unavoidable. And so what's happening in the trades today is that there's a huge amount of unmet demand for labor. And while there is a large generation of new workers coming into these platforms, fundamentally, they're gonna to have to recruit more people. And part of it's because of initiatives around decarbonization, about, around green energy, around the internet of things. These are all trends that are requiring not just the replacement of retirees, but also expansion of the workforce to be able to meet a much greater demand in the marketplace. So what this means for contractors, for example, is that they need to be able to compete in the marketplace to build up their brand, to establish their companies as centers of excellence that young technicians will want to join, where they can see the investment that their employer will make in them and how they'll build their career working for a particular employer. So a lot of companies haven't understood the importance of social and social is how the current generation, the youngest generation, accesses information. They don't want to see corporate video. They don't trust content that is selfish in nature. So what they fundamentally are looking for is peer-to-peer -peer content. It's the reviews. It's the perspective. It's the opinions of people like themselves. And what we see out there in the marketplace is that companies that understand social are starting to have disproportionate results in the marketplace. They're able to recruit the people they need because they know how to connect with them. Similarly for distributors, distributors have had a big challenge keeping up with the change in the demographics of their customer base. If you think about all the churn that's going on in the marketplace, contractors and technicians exiting from one generation and a whole new generation of technicians and contractors being born in the workforce and in the trades, that's creating churn. And that type of churn makes it very difficult for a distributor salespeople to be able to stabilize and protect their book of business, to be able to grow new accounts, to be able to really adapt to the shifting market landscape. So distributors too need to find a way to leverage social, to be able to build their brand, to be able to build one-to-one -one connections between their branches and their customers, between their salespeople and their CSRs to the customers that they serve. And similarly, just as there is a shift in the field technician marketplace, there's also a shift in the sales force and in the customer service teams of distributors. What this means is that there is an unprecedented amount of disruption between the sellers of products and the buyers of products. And this is why distributors need to take a fresh approach to thinking about how do they connect with their customers? How do they build preference? How do they build share of wallet with customers in a dynamic marketplace? For manufacturers, the, the challenge is huge. Manufacturers already have a disadvantage in connecting with their customers because of their two-step go-to-market. When you sell through distributors who then sell to your customers, it's very difficult for you to build meaningful connections and a meaningful identity in the eyes of your customers. What TradeHounds offers is the opportunity for a manufacturer to be able to inform the frontline workers using their products in the marketplace, to be able to build a brand, to be able to build an identity around value and performance and their culture as a company. It's very difficult, but TradeHounds offers a unique approach for a manufacturer. Let's say a manufacturer likes to present an exhibit at trade shows. Trade shows are fantastic for a few days in the year, but fundamentally the challenge is how do you connect with the people who didn't make it to the trade show? How do you connect to the people at the trade show who leave and go back to doing things the old way? So what TradeHounds offers is really a platform for manufacturers to message directly to the end users and customers of their products, to be able to showcase products that are innovative, new product launches, 
to be able to drive awareness of products that are complementary to products that are already selling well. Upgrades, good, better, best positioning. All of these types of manufacturer challenges have a, a platform in TradeHounds that can help them to connect and communicate and to drive preference and share of wallet in the marketplace. For a lot of companies, they haven't really thought much about how to use video. Video is a very powerful tool when you understand how it makes a difference. It needs to be authentic content, typically peer-to-peer -peer content. The youngest generation isn't looking for studio-produced content. Typically, they want more informal folks just like themselves talking about products, talking about applications, and how products make a difference in their work. So it's a different approach, and it requires a different type of uh, strategy for a manufacturer. What TradeHounds does is to bring the leading influencers in the skilled trades, those with typically hundreds of thousands or even millions of followers, into the marketplace representing brands and representing products in a way that is authentic. So it's, it's like threading a needle. You have to find folks who have reach, who have the peer-to-peer the -peer type of content authenticity, but also who have the ability to scale. And so TradeHounds helps companies to connect with those influencers and to build multi-pronged approaches to building up their brands, showcasing their most important products, building awareness in the field and preference in the field for products where that information is needed. So the trade show is a very powerful way for companies to make a splash. And these big events are often where you would reach some of the, the major influencers in the trade. However, two or three days a year of trade show exposure is not by itself going to shift the market for your products. What's necessary is what we call Trade Show 365. Trade Show 365 is the answer to the question, how do we connect with the broader marketplace, the people who don't attend the trade show, the people who attended the trade show but didn't make it to our booth, the people who made it to our booth but didn't ask the right questions. These are the problems that really drive the effectiveness of marketing, product marketing, for a manufacturer. And TradeHounds provides a very focused solution, an efficient solution, and scalable solution to help manufacturers solve this critical problem.